Greetings, this is Father Bauer from from Dorsten, Germany. Today is August 21st, 2024. And the topic of this video is how to increase brightness in games using HDR, High Dynamic Range, Game Mode or Reshade. Recently there was a re-release republished from the uh, original Doom and Doom 2 and there is a modification uh, Doom 2 ray traced and you see that the uh, ray traced version is quite dark for example or for comparison um, this is uh, the re-release and it's a bit brighter quite a bit brighter and uh, if you go to the options of uh, Doom 2 ray traced you see that there is an option HDR, High Dynamic Range. And uh, now it's turned off, but if you turn it on, the picture is a lot brighter. And um, so that is a possibility to increase brightness using HDR. And that can be important because um, if a game checks whether your device, your monitor, supports HDR, it can be that uh, the game itself activates HDR, but the monitor doesn't support, it, uh, does not render it as HDR. For example, this uh, now the use of HDR is deactivated, but the use of HDR is supported. And if uh, the game uh, activates HDR without so, uh, activated on the monitor, then you see a very dark uh, and wrong picture. So you uh, turn HDR on and nothing happens. So the problem is here that you have to use another uh, driver resolution. Now the resolution is for PC with 120 Hz, but um, there's also the resolution for Ultra HD, HD and SD, where you have only 60 Hz. But then HDR is activated, but um, I don't uh, use HDR. So this is HDR and the driver. Now the second um, possibility to increase brightness is uh, of course um, using the setting of the monitor itself or the TV. And you go to the settings, picture, expert settings and they can in Increase brightness. This might be important in another context, and this is the game mode. Some games require that game mode is activated. If a monitor supports game mode, then the game requires that it is also activated, and uh, otherwise the game won't start at all. So you have to go to, not to change the brightness of uh, the picture, but to activate game mode. But um, so then game mode is activated and games which require game mode can be started, but um, I do not use game mode. And uh, the third possibility to increase brightness in games is to use Reshade. This is a special version of the original Quake, Quake Ray Traced, where you can switch between the normal and the Ray Traced version of a Quake. 
and as soon as you activate ray tracing you see that some parts of the screen are very dark and um, of course you go to the options and video options and look for brightness or gamma or saturation or contrast and you don't find anything um, in this case or in uh, any game uh, you can uh, change brightness or adjust brightness using reshade it's easy to install and uh, does not change the uh, game itself and um, there's uh, even if uh, you just install the default shaders of uh, the reshade setup you have some options for increasing or decreasing brightness according to your personal taste and um, you can experiment what um, do you like or what do you don't like and it's uh, easy to use and uh, offers a lot of possibilities among others to adjust, adjust brightness Okay, that's it. So you have three possibilities. The first two, um, using or activating HDR and activating game mode might be vital to uh, play the game at all. And um, Reshade offers you a lot of options to adjust brightness according to your personal taste.